Atlanta City Council member is pushing for increased security at apartment complexes. Yeah, this push comes just days after windows on more than 140 vehicles were smashed at an Inman Park apartment complex this past weekend, including a police vehicle. Take a look at these pictures. These are the two people Atlanta police are looking for in regards to this incident. 11 Alive's Latasha Gibbons joining us now. So Latasha, car break-ins have been a big issue for Atlanta. The city council member says even her own car was broken into last year. That's right, Faith. Council member Wade understands the feelings of violation and frustration firsthand. So she's calling for a new law that would make it a requirement for all apartments and Atlanta city limits to have a comprehensive security plan. I'm replacing the door glasses. 19. This is the most I have done in one spot. And counting. Tony Campbell with Clearview Auto Glass is picking up the shattered glass crooks left behind after breaking into 140 vehicles at Mariposa Lofts this past weekend. I've seen a lot of people get guns and things like that stolen, um, so I see them heard about that. Some people have sentimental things taken. Yeah, I'm pretty shocked. Ashley Avanza's car window is fixed now, but her feelings are not. A little shook. Well, I've been a victim to this. Council member Keisha Waits says her car was broken into last year. It's my understanding that they're now using a spark plug, mm -hmm. which shatters the entire window. Yeah. According to this 2023 survey from the University of North Carolina, Charlotte, at homes, security cameras deterred burglars 50% of the time. It also shows having an alarm system will deter a burglar 53% of the time, while having police nearby ranked as the number one deterrent, working 64% of the time. I know that there was an issue with that particular gate, but we need additional twos. Folks should not be coming home to this type of ridiculousness. Council member Waite says the lofts complex does have a security system, but there were technical difficulties, so it's been inefficient. Now, 11 Alive has reached out to them multiple times since this weekend to get our statement or response. We have not heard back. Back to you. Latasha, thank you so much for bringing us that report.